Now, where should we start the animal graveyard? Hey guys, what's up? LD Charlotte here and welcome back to One Life, the modded Minecraft server where you only get one life and somehow we're still going. Now just behind me you might be able to spot a little chest there. This is actually a gift from our dear friend Brit. A few episodes ago I gave her some blaze rods and she has returned the favour with a present. So she has given us some pink icicle fairy lights, cotton can do, some gummy bears and a creeper cookie. Okay. First of all, let's test out these lights. We need to find somewhere special for these. What about over here? This area looks a bit drab. We can definitely spice it up. Oh, I love it. Ah, oh, to come to think of it, this area looks a bit drab as well. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I'm gonna keep the other two so I can use them for another special project in the future. And I'm gonna keep these to snack on throughout the episode. So the first thing that I actually wanted to do was upgrade my armor a little bit. Obviously it doesn't get any better than the obsidian armor that I'm already wearing, but we can enchant it even more to make it better. So one of the mods adds these enchantment upgrades. So you can basically craft your own enchantments. And the first thing that I wanna get is feather fall on my boots. So we need to upgrade it from the current Feather Falling 4 and we can go all the way up to Feather Falling 8. So this is the Feather Falling upgrade from 1 to 4 but we need the Elite Feather Falling upgrade. So we need to craft one of the base ones and then surround it with hay and beds. So let's make 4 of these and then we'll need some beds to upgrade so let's make 4 beds. Ta-da! And I think that's it. Oh wait, I need way more beds. Okay, we have one upgrade so let's try it out on the boots. Oh, so as you see now, we have upgraded it to Feather Falling 5, but let's get it all the way to 8. So let's start adding them on. There we go, Feather Falling 6, Feather Falling 7, Feather Falling 8. Okay, now I am definitely not going to die from falling off a cliff. Thank goodness for that. That was one of my major concerns for the series. Now there are, of course, a bunch of other upgrades you can get, but now I'll just be happy with my Feather Falling. Now besides upgrading my armor, I also wanted to upgrade my house a little bit with some beautiful carpets especially up here where it looks a little bit plain. So I'm really interested in this cute lime carpet right here. So let's see if we have any lime wool. Oh, we do. Let's make a bunch of carpet. There we go. And I'm gonna need my chisel to change the pattern. So let's pop it in here and get the cute one. It's called llama carpet. Oh, how adorable. And let's place it right here. Oh, that is just precious. I love it. Okay, now that I have my carpet and I'm happy, today's real mission involves rescuing bunnies. Or rather, plucking them from the wilderness and claiming them as my own. So let's make sure I take my shulker box with me. And I'm gonna need some carrots because I know bunnies like carrots. Or at least I think they do. And maybe we should also make a lead. Okay, we haven't found any slimes, but we have found some of these raw jellyfish. So let's get two slimes from them. And let's get some of my string as well. There we go, plenty of leads now. We shouldn't have any trouble wrangling the bunnies. Let's go find them. Now I am 100% sure that I saw a bunny over there, but it was quite a while ago. So I don't know if he's still chilling over there, but let's see. Okay, something tells me he's not here anymore. <gasps> Wait, the village. I bet if they have a carrot farm that there are bunnies hanging out near it. Okay, where do you keep the carrots around here? Where are all the bunnies? Oh my goodness, the bunnies are all gone. What did you do? Where are the bunnies? Show me the bunny. Oh, <gasps> wait, there's a bunny. Oh my gosh, it's trapped. Okay, we are actually rescuing this one. Let's grab it with the lead. Come on out, come on. Oh no, it's not working. Maybe we have to perform a rescue mission, but it's getting dark, so we have to be fast. I'll save you, don't worry. Just need to... Oh goodness, what's happening? Oh my goodness, I think he's gonna die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, bunny, no! Oh my goodness, he's gonna die. I'm, I'm killing him. I think I've just killed the bunny. Um, I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh my gosh, no, he died. Well, that's my cue to get out of here. Unfortunately, that was just one bunny that I couldn't rescue. I just made things worse. He was fine until I got to him. Why does this always happen to me? Oh, I don't even deserve to sleep on the bunk bed tonight. I'm gonna go sleep outside. This is really risky, but this is my punishment for killing that bunny. It's a night in the hammock for me. I'm very scared. I'm very, very scared. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm alive! And I vow never to hurt a bunny ever again. 
Okay, maybe there's something I can do for that little bunny. Let's have a look and see whether we can craft a gravestone or something. Oh yes, we can. Looks like they're in a deco craft mod. So let's go over to the deco bench and give this little guy the memorial he deserves. Let's give him this one. Poor little guy. Now, where should we start the animal graveyard? Let's face it, we're gonna need a lot of space. I know, let's put it outside right here so that I'll be reminded every day when I walk past, which is probably not a good thing. I'm gonna chisel the dirt to look like it's freshly dug. Oh, that looks cute. And then we'll place the headstone right here and a sign. Here lies a bunny, the first accidental victim of LD Shadow Lady. Oh, I feel so bad. Let's give him a flower as well. I'm gonna go get one of my nice ones. Let's see, which one of these is my favorite flower? <gasps> these icy irises are so nice. If it wasn't for such a good cause, I would be sad about wasting it. But here we go. Aw, an icy iris for an ice cold dead bunny. Hopefully we don't have to add to the graveyard, but we'll see about that. Next time, if you find somebody in quicksand, do not attempt a rescue unless you are a trained professional. Now, are there any more bunnies around here that need rescuing? Any bunnies on top of this hill? They had a great view down there onto the scene of my crime, so they've probably made themselves scarce by now if they ever were up here. Maybe we should like cover this up. That would probably be the best for everybody. Oh, how do you get rid of quicksand? There we go, that's what we should have used all along. Well, now we know. If the bunny overlords ever hear about this, I hope they know that I was just trying to help. No more rabbits are ever gonna fall into these stupid pits ever again. Okay, now that I have rectified the quicksand situation, it's time to scour the landscape for bunnies. I wonder if there are bunnies in the llama biome. Okay, maybe not. No bunnies anywhere. Well, let's try in this autumn biome. Maybe there's a bunny hiding in here somewhere. Okay, you know what? I actually have a really good feeling about this place. I think there are gonna be some bunnies in here. We just have to track them down. Perhaps I was wrong. Doesn't appear that there are any bunnies here at all. In fact, it's just a bunch of big trees. Oh my goodness. <gasps> There's a blood moon. Oh, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. What do I do? What do I do? Cows, tell me what to do. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, um, I'm going underground. This is my home now. Ah, oh my gosh. Ah, ah. This is delightful, isn't it? I think we're safe. Well, clearly Megan has given up on the blood moon, but there's no option for me other than to just wait it out. One eternity later. Okay, I think it might be over. Oh, thank goodness for that. Let's get out of here, but be vigilant. <gasps> Creeper! Oh no, you don't. Yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. Ah! Oh, there's a baby one! Baby one! He poisoned me. Oh! Oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. What is that? Oh, it's a zombie villager. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. What is a sheep doing up there? Never mind, it's not safe here. Get out of here. So while I was hiding in my hole from the blood moon, I actually did a little bit of reading. Ah! Oh, it's so not safe. And I learned that rabbits actually only spawn in a few biomes. So we need to find one of those biomes instead of just searching randomly. However, a lot of those biomes have been replaced by things like this from the mods. So it might be a little tricky. So right now we just need a boat and I am just gonna go home. Hey, there's that cute biome. We should collect so many of these flowers. We can take them home and sell them. I'm gonna get them all. These are my favorite flowers ever. Okay, I think we definitely have enough of these things now. And I don't think there are any bunnies in this biome. So we should probably get out of here now. Get back to the boat and make our way home. So the biomes where the bunnies spawn are mega tigers, deserts, flower forests, and basically none of these biomes. Hang on a second, is that a desert over there? <gasps> it is. Maybe they have bunnies there and I can take one home on my boat. Yes, this would be perfect. Hello? Any bunnies around? Okay, this place is completely empty. <gasps> Hang on, it's a bunny, but it's smoking a pipe. There are so many. Okay, let's lure one closer with a carrot. Hello? Oh no, this little one with the pipes coming closer. I didn't want a smoker bunny. Okay, well, whatever. Let's grab him with one of the leads. No! I thought he liked me! Come back here! Hey, come on, come on! I tamed you! Yes, come with me. You know, it would be cool if we actually had some different colored ones. So maybe we'll only take one desert bunny. Hopefully he will quit his stupid smoking habit though soon. Urgh. Come on, a little faster. We're losing daylight here. 
Get in the boat, little one. In you come. <gasps> oh no, is he gonna drown? How do I get him in the boat? There he is, look at him. <gasps> He's so cute. Okay, now let me in. Oh, this is everything I ever dreamed of. This is so cute. You know what's not cute? The darkness. Help! Where do I go? Where do I go? You know what? Maybe it's just safer to be right here and also offline. Okay, now it's daytime. Oh my goodness, what? What happened to my bunny? What on earth? He just changed his outfit while I was offline. What an unusual trap. Okay, now that we have the daylight, let's head home. Come on, we gotta go this way and we've got a long way to go, so hurry up. I'm glad you gave up smoking, by the way. Oh, that's Stacy's house. We're almost home. Oh my gosh, I can see it. I see my house. Quickly, bunny. Ugh. Okay, quick, quick. No, don't run off. Come on, we have to get inside. Come with me if you want to live. Things are gonna start coming for us. Come on, let's get in the house just to be safe. Oh dear, how are we gonna get through this iron door? Well, I can't even get through the door. Never mind you. Come on, little guy. Yes! Oh my gosh, be free within the confines of my house. Hopefully my wolves don't eat him. I'm sleeping in the top bunk tonight. Okay, so now we have our little desert bunny. I want to get another one from a different biome so he will be a different color. But first of all, let's figure out where to put the bunnies. I think we'll keep them close because they aren't really that loud. We should put the bunnies right next to him, right here. Oh, we can even give him some flowers. Here you go, Mr. Bunny. I brought some of these for you. I thought you might like them. I'm just gonna start putting them all around here as well. Whoa! Ah! I think I just looked at an enderman. He's in my compound and he stole one of my grass blocks. I'm not gonna kill him though. That would be crazy. Let's just continue planting these flowers and minding our own business. I don't want any trouble today, Mr. Enderman. Who needs grass when you can have lavender, right? Now I was planning on selling these, but I think I'm just gonna keep them all for myself. This just looks so cute. I'm so glad I did this. I think it looks spiffing. Let's put these spare flowers back in the house and I've run out of space for them. <laughs> And let's get back to business. So I'm gonna grab my magic fences so that we can make a little enclosure for the bunnies. There's a gate, make extra fences. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put the bunnies under this area here next to Mr. Boney. I think their area needs to be a little bit smaller because they aren't as big as horses. And maybe we'll clear it a little bit so we can actually see what's going on. Perfect. Now we just need to get the little bunny in here, wherever he is. <gasps> he didn't fall down there, did he? Oh no. I've fallen down there. Oh, there he is. You're blended in with the scenery. Look at you being so camouflaged. Come back here. There we go. Now let's try and get him out of the door. We must get you in your pen at once. You're late for a very important date. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. Now you'll be happy in here, won't you? Mr. Boney will keep you company and I will bring you another friend shortly. Okay, I've decided to change tactic a little bit and we're gonna try and find an ice plains instead because they have some cute little bunnies there. So I happen to know where one is. Two hours later. Oh, it looks like we found it. That looks pretty icy to me. Let's track down one of these little arctic bunnies. But we have to be very careful of the polar bears that are also here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I think that one's after me. I thought the baby polar bear was a bunny. I got excited, I'm sorry. Okay, there are officially no bunnies here. I'm so disappointed. <gasps> a bunny! Hello! Oh, don't run away from me now. Don't be cruel. Oh, I've lost my carrots. I don't know where I put them, but I think I left them behind. Okay, well, no matter. Maybe some of these have carrots in. I'm sure we'll find a carrot somewhere. Why are there no carrots? <sighs> I'm gonna be halfway home before I find a carrot. I've just made so many mistakes today. <gasps> a village! Oh my gosh, I hope they have carrots. I could get so many. <gasps> carrots! Perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. I can finally get my little bunny. My little bunny, my little bunny. Can't escape now. <coughs> Excuse me, the demon within me almost escaped. <laughs> I would like to apologize if I scared anybody there. Any young children or pregnant mothers. Hope I didn't cause any harm to you with that terrifying outburst. I'm just really excited about this bunny. They're just so cute and fluffy. You know what, I'm actually gonna name this bunny after one of the My Little Ponies. So let me know which one you want me to name it after. Oh look, which one of the My Little Ponies do you look like? I mean, none of them wear a top hat really. Come on, we've got a long way to go. I don't have all day to dilly dally around. Okay, it's getting dark. We have to hide here for the night. Okay, I'm just gonna log out while it's nighttime. Please don't change your outfit and confuse me. Hey, hey, come back here. We have to carry on our epic journey together. Why won't you follow me? It's like you're a whole different bunny. 
You took off your clothes and now you're too good for me? <gasps> no! Oh, I'm so unlucky. Why does this always happen to me? They just die all the time. How am I meant to have a bunny farm if I can't even get to home safely? Okay, now at least we know where the bunnies are, even though we didn't actually manage to get any home. So now let's get all the carrots that I have, take them with me so we definitely don't run out this time. And all we have to do is build a super safe path directly to the bunnies. So I marked the bunnies on the map with a B. So that is the way that we are heading. I think here is a good time to start digging into the ground. I know what you're thinking, Lizzie has gone crazy. But no, I'm not crazy. All I've done is dig a 2000 block long tunnel to the bunnies so I can safely get them home, okay? That doesn't sound like something a crazy person would do, does it? Yes, daylight. Oh, perfect. And we're just where we need to be. Let's leave a little marker here so I don't lose my hole. Okay, now we just have to locate a bunny and take it all the way back through the freaking tunnel. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. I promise you safe passage to greener lands. Come on, back to the hole. This tunnel should be super safe. So if you die, I'll be really confused and also mad. I'm not sure if I should walk backwards to make sure that he's still on the lead or forwards to make sure that there's no mobs ahead of me. I'll walk sideways. Actually, that's probably not the best idea I've ever had. I'm pretty confident that there aren't any mobs here. Little bunny foo foo running through the tunnel. Not going to die now because we're really safe. This is it, we're here. Oh, thank goodness for that. Come on, we have to be fast. Don't fall now. Please. Please, come on. <gasps> ah! End me! Oh, I, I don't even know what to say. I am extremely angry. I'm just going to retire to my hammock for the night and cry myself to sleep. Okay, after a long night of crying and wondering what I did wrong, I think I'm ready to try again. The tunnel is a fabulous invention. This is the bit of failed engineering I need to worry about. So let's just raise this bridge up a little bit so we don't have to go so far down. And that should be a lot safer. Now nothing could possibly go wrong. So if you'd like to excuse me, I have to start making my way through the tunnel, which by the way, takes about 10 minutes to walk to the other end. Okay, we have arrived. It is time to try again to bring home little bunny. Oh, <gasps> there's one. Hello, my friend. Come here. There you go, you love me now, don't you? Now let me take you on a lead. Oh, come on. Come on, let's go. Get your stupid fluffy butt down here. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's see, can I give you a carrot to heal you? There you go, feeling better, buddy? Let's go. Okay, we made it. Come on now. Let me just give you some extra carrots just to make sure you're still fine. And then let's venture out into the wilderness, into the danger. Why do I always seem to be coming out of the cave just as it starts turning nighttime? Oh, thank goodness, the bridge worked a charm. No damage today. Let's see if we can get all the way home before I count my chickens, though. Hurry, we're losing the daylight. I don't want to die. Oh my goodness, I think we made it. Although, I don't want to jinx it, so let's wait until he's safely inside. Oh, come on, come on. My dream is coming true. Come on, come on, get in, get in. No, the other bunny escaped. Okay, well, that's no big deal. We'll just go and retrieve him. Hey, you, don't you dare die on a cactus or something silly. It's getting freaking dark around here. Okay, let's tie you to the fence as well and shut you both in. Okay, I don't care if it's the middle of the night. I'm gonna make them breed because I'm just so excited. I wanna see what the little baby bunny looks like. Oh, look. Wait, how did you get out? What? Where did it go? It's so tiny. How did it escape? Oh my gosh. It's got a little monocle. How adorable. Come here, you little escape artist. There you go. Now you stay in here and I'll give you a carrot. There you go. All my carrots. So that is where I'm gonna leave it for this episode of One Life. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. For every dislike I get, I'm gonna kill a bunny. I'm just kidding. Hopefully I don't kill any more bunnies. 